Welcome back on Conventional Money Warriors. My name is Ram. I'm your host. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about Google and how Google affects your business and what you should know. Everything from how to get a Google business listing, how to get Google reviews, how to upload business images to your Google account with meta tags. There's a whole world of complexity with Google. You need to learn how Google works if you're trying to make money. Stay with us for today's episode of Unconventional Money, Google Edition. Guys, we ask you to please like and subscribe because when you subscribe, you help us. If you're not liking and subscribing, you're not helping us help you find ways to make money with your new businesses. So please like and subscribe so that we can continue to get you free content so you can build your business from scratch. And I'm going to show you how. What is a Google business listing? A Google business listing is a way for you as a business owner to list your service online so people can find you. Google is location based, right? So if you have a gas station, you want to register your Google business listing so when people are within a 15 mile, 20 mile parameter, look up gas station near me, you pop up. So a Google business listing is a way for you, in essence, to put your virtual real estate out in the market so that people can find you. Translation, a Google business, Google business listing is going to help you get business to call you. What is a Google business listing? A Google business listing is a way for you as a business owner to list your business online for free through Google so people can find you. Think about when you look up washing company near me or uh, gas station near me, whatever it is, and listings pop up. Those are Google business listings and they're free to do. When you're able to register your business on Google and it's free, keep in mind, this, this is free, people can now find you. So a Google business listing is going to help you get customers to call your business. That's essentially what a Google business listing is. Okay, here's why a Google business listing is important. Let's say you have a business. Let's say uh, your photography company, for example. We'll use that as an example. So when you create your Google business listing, in essence, what you're doing is you're putting yourself out there to people looking for your services. So if Johnny is looking up photography company near me or I need a video editor and your listing now can pop up, you give yourself the opportunity to get the call, right? So it's in essence free marketing. It's like a commercial. You're telling people this is what I do and you can find me. The beautiful part though with the Google listing is unless you violate their terms, your listing doesn't get deleted. So it stays there kind of like as a permanent thing, so to speak, right? So now you're always there for people who are looking for your services. I myself own multiple Google business listings for my businesses and I've made a lot of money just through Google. Like literally that's my main form of marketing is my Google accounts. And we ran successful companies because of the Google business listing. And that's why you need a Google business listing. How do you start? Okay. So number one thing that you want to do when you uh, are going to make a Google business listing is you want to have a Gmail account. doesn't matter if it's personal or business, but you have to have a Gmail. Uh, you cannot use Hotmail or any of these other platforms. It needs to be Gmail for Google. So that's the first thing you need to do. You need to make sure that you have a Gmail so that you can go ahead and register it. Okay. So the next step that you want to do now that you have your Gmail account set up, you go to Google, okay? So what we do is we just go to Google as the search engine and on the search engine you type in Google business listing. Again, that's Google business listing. When you do that, the first thing you're going to see, it's going to say Google my business dash drive customer engagement on Google. Okay? That's the listing that's going to pop up. Google my business dash drive customer engagement. It gives you the option of business profile, manager profile, create account, add or claim your business. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on that, right? So then we go to a page where it says stand out with a free profile, right? So now we're going to set up a profile. So I'm going to hit sign in because you have to sign in through your Gmail. So when I hit sign in, because I'm already here with my Gmail, it'll automatically log me in through my Gmail account, right? So once I do that, I want to hit manage now. Okay. Manage now. So it says find and manage your business. So this now gives you the opportunity to type in your business. So for today's episode, let's just type in unconventional money, right? Because we're doing this as an example. So I, what I do is I type in under search for my business, unconventional money. Okay. And then I hit search and then it says, okay, no one is using this business name. Perfect. So my business name, unconventional money, my business category for this, I'm going to put finance. Okay. Okay. Then, so I list the name as unconventional money. The business category is financial consultant. That's the category for this one. You hit next. Once you hit next, it says, do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office? So here's what's important. If you have a physical storefront, you want people to be able to come, but let's say you're running your business out of your home, right? You want to hit no, because what it'll do is it'll hide your address. It'll only show the zip code. So if you have a business where you don't want people just coming to your house, you want to put no. If you have a storefront, you want to hit yes. 
So for this one, I'm gonna hit no, because obviously I don't want people coming to my house. I want them to watch videos. So I'm gonna hit no, then I hit next. Once I hit next, it says, where do you serve your customers? And it allows you to add in cities. So for this one, let's just put Los Angeles and we'll just keep it at that. But again, you can list multiple cities, okay? So I'm gonna now hit next. Once I hit next, it says, what contact details do you wanna show your customers? So it says, put your contact phone number. So again, we're gonna put our number in here. And then it says your website URL. So if you have a website, you can put it on there. If you don't have a website, you don't have to have one. You can put, I don't need a website. Or what's cool now, you can get a free website based on your info with Google. So what Google will do is based off your phone number and the name you did, Google will make a Google slash site for you. So for this one, let's go with get a free website through Google. So Google will create a website based off the info you've done here. So let's hit next. It says, stay in the know. It says, do you want any recommendations? You want any recommendations because it'll tell you things to improve. So you want to hit yes. We're going to hit next. It's doing its thing. You bear with me. It says, please enter your mailing address to verify. So now, again, this is going to be based off of your address you have to put in. Um, so I'm going to put my office here uh, in the Northridge area. So let me just put this in real quick. Bear with me. All right. So this office address is 19849. So let me just put this address in the area street city okay perfect so now I hit next and now it says choose to verify so this way to verify it's going to send a postcard by mail so Google does that because they want to verify that you're you actually are at this address you're claiming right so I'm going to enter my name and it'll send me a uh, code in the mail so now I hit mail right and it says postcards on the way. You're gonna get your postcard verification in the next five days. So now I hit continue. So now what happens is, uh, once I get my postcard in the mail, it'll come with a four or five digit code. I enter that and it'll say, congratulations, your business has been registered with Google. And that's really what it is. And once you do that, it allows you to add more. Like I could add tax planning, wealth management, debt management, annuities. Again, this is for my category. So I'm gonna hit next. These are all additional things you can do. It's gonna then allow you to add your business hours. So for these, I'll just put 24 hours, Monday through Thursday. I hit next, right? And then that's basically it. We're in the profile. It gives you the option to add pictures. You can write uh, back to customers if they write reviews, but that's essentially how you do a Google business listing. If we get a lot of views on this video, I will do a way more structured way how to do this. Uh, again, we made this pretty simple and quick, but if I get a lot of requests uh, and feedback, I will do a way more structured video on how to actually do this type of work uh, for Google uh, because then there's something also called Google Guaranteed, but that's a whole nother video. But that's essentially what you need to do for your new business when you're starting. Having a Google business listing is so important. You know, Google is the number one search engine in the world. Millions of people use it every day. And if you're on it, you're just going to drive business. Like I said, I've had many companies and almost all of them relied on Google for, for profit in some way, shape or form. And so I can legitimately say I've done millions in sales simply because of having Google accounts in, in all honesty. So again, this is why you want a Google business listing. It will help your business get promoted. And again, people say Google it. They don't say Yelp it. They don't say Bing it. They say Google it. So I'm just saying Google it so they can find you. Guys, we want to thank you so much. Again, please like and subscribe. We're trying to provide you free content and we'd like to see you soon on our next episode. Thank you guys. He wants you to succeed and will continue to bring you unconventional money-making content for free. Leave a comment below, a like, and if you would, subscribe for more money-making tips. Also take this opportunity for an amazing offer from Weeble. Two free stocks worth up to $1,800. See the link in the description below. They even give Rama free stock. Everybody wins.